Japan has launched a submarine hunter warship. The power of large Chinese submarines operating near and within Japanese waters is Japan's primary concern. And also many submarines and electric diesel submarines belonging to North Korea, said Chang Rei Times. The double hull ship, named Aki, was a launch by the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Forces JMSDF, currently being installed before it can begin sea trials. The naming ceremony and launch of the Aki reconnaissance warship was held at the Mitsui E and S shipbuilding shipyard. This ship is the third of the Habiki Ocean surveillance ship type and its name is taken from the word Akinata which is located in the western part of the Seto Inland Sea. Aki, which weighs 3,048 tons, is the third of the ocean surveillance ship JMSDF on Habiki. This is the first since a twin ship was launched in 1992. This ship will be deployed to the JMSDF base in Kur City in Hiroshima Prefecture next spring. For the Japanese military, there are two main targets, China and North Korea, said Stephen Nagy, a professor of international relations at Tokyo International Christian University. Of the two potential threats, China is the biggest. Beijing has developed many asymmetrical capabilities to keep the U.S. out of the first island chain. Even the second island chain, he said, referring to the archipelago which was the natural fortress of Chinese maritime forces, but at the same time, it could also be a line the barrier of foreign troops from mainland China. The Japanese islands, Taiwan and the Philippines act as the first natural barriers. With U.S.-controlled Guam, Saipan and other Pacific Islands functioning as a second natural barrier. On several occasions in recent years, Japanese troops allegedly have detected and tracked the whereabouts of unknown submarines in its waters. Tokyo has always been the owner of the foreign submarine that is often seen in the waters of Okinawa Prefecture at the southern tip. It is also close to the Miyako Strait which is strategic to the Pacific but many assume that it is a Chinese submarine. According to the latest estimates of Beijing's defense capabilities, from annual military data Jane's believes that China is capable of deploying 69 submarines. Japan already has two reconnaissance vessels of this type but it is clearly still not enough for the Japanese government to monitor the movement of Chinese submarines said an official from the Japan's National Institute of Defense Studies who declined to be named. The basic design of this latest the ship is similar to the early series ships, but has been upgraded with the latest technology, giving Japan good capabilities in this field, the official said. The 67-meter-long battery, costing 22.6 billion yen, US $305 million for its construction, is equipped with a US-developed Surveillance Towed Array Sensor System SURTASS, which is able to provide information to the underwater surveillance network used by the US to track the movements of foreign submarines. By pulling sensors along a few kilometers behind the ship, Aki will be able to listen to the sounds issued by submarines hundreds of kilometers away. The sounds that it collects, such as the propeller revolution, will be digitized, added to the main database and used to identify the type and country of the submarine owner. Although the Aki ship is expected to be deployed mainly around the islands in southern Okinawa Prefecture, Nagi said Tokyo is closely watching the development of North Korea's ballistic missile submarine SLBM that has tested its ballistic missile launch on several occasions. Satellite imagery has captured developments at Sinpo South Shipyard on the east coast. That includes the construction of closed factories and submarines that are hidden with a roof next to the pier. Last year, North Korean state media released a picture of Kim Jong-un admiring the submarine being built. China may be a major concern, but North Korea is clearly developing some diesel submarine technology as it tries to launch SLBM-capable submarines, Nagi said. Japan really wants to follow the development of the North Korean project. 